Okay, folks. We're gonna... I'm gonna play through this story. It's the Undead Nightmare. We're gonna pick up where we left off. We left off with... He comes home to find... His uncle has been bitten. Or... Something. Anyway. You'll have to refer to the beginning of this. But, uh... We're gonna pick up where we left off. His... Wife and son are infected. We're not sure if they're dead or what, but they are infected for sure. And he's got them bound, and he's got them locked into the cabin. So we're going to pick up where we left off. This is the Undead Nightmare from Red Dead Redemption, the add-on. And I got the war horse. I actually bought that. That's the war horse. Very strong horse. Good horse. Mr. Marston, sir! Marston! It's me! Professor, what are you doing here? I thought you went back to Yale. Well, I did, but uh, I came back uh, for another round of research. <laughs> and now all hell is quite literally broken loose. What is going on? Well, well sir, I'm a man of science, a man of great learning, a, a thinker, a, a wise man. And I'll be honest with you, sir, I haven't got a fucking clue. Why well, ain't that dandy? Well, what, what should we do? Well, I suggest we try to find other survivors, band together, and find a cure, or fight to the death trying. Well, that sounds great and all, but, uh, but I'm uh, just peachy, but I'm not sure that I'm, I'm not cut out for such shenanigans. I, I was thinking more that uh, 
finding a horse and, and riding back to the civilized north at the speed of knots before writing a paper on the events from the comfort of my study. I'm a scientist after all, right? I mean, I, I, I can't do much science if I'm some bloodshot dervish's lunch, can I? Much as I would like. Your sense of duty is very impressive, Professor. I'm going to search the back street for survivors. <laughs> Perhaps staying with you would be safer. Uh, could, could you just wait a sec here, would you please? I, I'm going to wander down that lonely, deserted street and get my back. Wait, you should stay with me, Professor. You haven't got a gun. Oh, no, no, it's okay. There's no need to worry. Everyone's already dead. <laughs> I left my stuff with Mr. Nastas. You remember him? That Indian fellow, dumb as bricks, but, but a good sort. Okay. Well, maybe in a couple minutes. Affirmative. A couple of minutes. <gasps> Anyone here? Hello? Anyone here? Come out. It's okay. Come out. I don't buy. Bad joke. I mean, come out. They come out family, mister. And mine, I fear. Sorry.
Mama was dead. I saw her walk up onto the porch. to have their blood drunk. I mean, he knew how to use his fist. And if a woman spoke at her place, he reminded her of it and everything. And when my mama was dying, people said that he was lying to their sister. But that weren't true, mister, it weren't. But you said your mother was dead. And her and Mr. Braithwaite, he's been dead a year. And then yesterday, he walked up that street eating dogs. And he loves animals. All the dead folk have come back to life, mister. Only they ain't happy. It's a funny kind of salvation. All the dead folk? All the folk buried at the cemetery over by the churchyard. My God. I want to go have a look. You want to come? No, I already seen my mama. I don't need to see any more of my relatives. Here, mister, take this. If you can burn them, maybe you can put their souls to rest. Oh, uh, mister! You see my uncle Mordecai? Burn him. <laughs> 